All right, first off, I want to say, Kal Halal Yamla, Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakakadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, Shalom to the brothers in the highways and byways, doing this work in all sincerity and in all honesty, the sisters, the believers, the helps, Shalom. Now, this is a brother, Yahweh Hala, once again. Just want to do a lesson on um, um, how do you know that you're an Israelite? You get me? Or how can you tell? That somebody's an Israelite, or how oh, you know you're the lot, the ch um, the children of the Lord. You get me? No, that lesson here, but just want to go in a detail and and as so to to proclaim that that the name of the Father is Yahweh, the name of the Son is Yahweh Shai, the children of Israel is the um Native Indians, the Latinos, the Hispanics. The so-called um, Africans, well, African Americans are you Negroes? You get me? Not so-called Africans, but let me say Af so-called African American are Negroes. You understand me? Those are the children of Israel. You understand me? And a lot of people get this thing twisted with people over in the Middle East, thinking that you know they are the children of Israel and they're not. You get me? Pertaining to Deuteronomy twenty-eight curses, it doesn't apply to them. You understand me? Now, let me just get into this lesson. First scripture I'm going to start with is Romans 8 verse 16. And it says, oh, The Spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. So basically we say, oh, The Spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that with yeah, with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. Basically, um, to how we behave, to how we act, to how, how um, we, 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 we not act as other nations, basically. We did always separate, we were always a holy set of people. So even though we fall off from 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 the law, statutes, and commandments of the Mosai, and we people forget that, and we start follow heathenistic customs, we're still different from the heathens. You get me? You still can't say, oh, look, this and this man are the same. You can literally tell a difference between them. You understand me? Not only with that, but the word. The word of the most that resonate with our people. You understand me? The word of the most that people literally have a zeal for worship the most high. You get me? Um, let me see if I can get that. That's a quick point. As you say, oh, um, this is Romans 10. Verse 2, for I bear them records that they have a zeal of the Most High, but not according to knowledge. So, will people have the zeal, the energy there for one worship the Most High, for one learn about the Most High, you get me? Get information about our God and all that. Will people just love, serve? It, it always in our spirit for that. You get me? When, we, when you read the scriptures or so, it connect with them. When they, when, they, when they break down certain things, it will reach to them. You get People will believe in a something. Other nations them don't really believe. You get me? They might believe that there there is a God. Right? Some might not. But in terms of the true and living God, will people go far off? Even, will people go far, far out? Let me not say far off, but far out. And really put out them spirit whenever they might do things. You get me? You can tell the difference with our people versus the other nations because guess what? Again, like I say, we might sometimes we might, we might even look alike, but we don't behave the same. Um this is um Matthew five verse thirteen. Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt has lost its savour, wherewith shall thou be salted? It is therefore good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under man, under foot of men. You get me? So the scripture says, oh, well, salt of the earth, yo, we'll add flavor to things. When it comes on to, 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 to football, we'll people unite. Um, any sport you can think of, we'll people top it. You get me? Food people top Either you have um, a Latin American, so-called Latin American, Hispanic, um, a native Indian or, or a descendant of one of them or, or um, a so-called Negro. You get me? You always have one set of people that dominate something. 
You understand me? Even if it's wickedness with people gone in that, like for example, carnival. You get me? People from all over the world come to the Caribbean to celebrate carnival with food people because guess what? When people are doing certain things, it's different from the other nation them. You get me? So like may I say even wickedness with people go off and it's still different from how the other nation them would do for them wickedness, yo. You get me? With people totally different from, from the other nation and shows. Again, we bring life, we bring vibe, we bring energy, we bring the spirit, yo, in whatever we do. You understand me? Ye are the light of the world, a city that cannot be, a city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. You understand me? Um, neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, bushel but on a candlestick. And it giveth light unto the whole, unto all that is that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see the good works. Um. So basically, that's the point. So, up further, you understand me? Because at the end of the day, like me, I say, yo, oh, people different. Oh, people stand out. And you can tell. Sometimes people say, oh, you can know when I, when I want Jamaican. I'm always full of jewelry. You see me? Weird and fanciest thing. But me can say that about um, the so-called African-Americans. Them would do the same way. Them have the biggest chain. Drive the fanciest car. Or sometimes the loudest car. The fastest car. Who people just stand out, yo. You get me? Those are characteristics you can tell. Say, yo, look. on G that. You understand me? I want Jake. So even like I said earlier, you look on a man and him face look, him look like a, a, a cracker. But I don't want cracker. You get me? Based off how him, him spirit move, how him, how him behave, how him go on. You say, oh, that man, yeah. Nah, man. Mm. I don't want white man this. You get me? You see a box and the boxer look like a carcation, but the man can box the man have moved the man the man of of, of a thing I, I look at rhythm they are going with and I say yo that man a body you know surprisingly you wouldn't know say yo him, him ancestors go back to to go back to um a slave who gone in you know, um America and um, because him four parents sleep with the same white chick coming up coming up coming up Eventually, the son look white, and the son go go again to a next white girl and have a next baby. Will look the same. You understand me? But when it trace back to him heritage, he might come from a Jake, yo. You get me? So the spirit remain the same. Him behave like him four parents, but him don't look like them. You understand me? So it say, yo, um, this is Daniel nine verse seven. O Lord, righteousness belongeth unto thee. But unto us confusion of faces. You get that? It say yo oh, as at this day, cause confusion of faces means say yo oh, look you can't you, this man is a Israelite, but him look like the other nation. You understand me? You have instances like that. We have a, we have brothers in camps like that, yo. Right? You say yo oh, as at this day. To the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem and unto all and unto all Israel that are near and that are far far off through all the countries whither thou hast driven them because of their um, their trespass that they have trespassed against thee so the Lord scatter away among all the other people. On the earth, because guess what? We trespass. Is it me? We trespass against the Most High. And just to prove that, right? We're going to look at history. Right? Touch upon what I'm going. This is Deuteronomy 28, verse 1. And it, and it shall come to pass, if thou will hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy power to observe and to do all his commandments, which I commanded thee this day, that the Lord Thy power will set thee on high above all nations on the earth. So the Lord are basically tell us, oh, look, if you do this, if you listen to what I say, what not, what not, this is going to happen to you. I'm going to make you rule the world. You see me rule the other nation, them. Right? Let's jump to verse 15. 
But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the power, of thy power, to observe and to do all his commandments and his statutes which I, which I command thee this day, that all the curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. You understand me? So basically, it's actually the blessing and the curse. If you listen to the Mosai, what go go on for you? If you don't listen to him, what go happen to you? You understand me? Now, let me see if I can. All right. All right, I'll continue this now. So we get the point. Say, oh, we trespass against the Most High. But going to look at history upon that for say, oh, this is what the Lord say. You know, the curse and the blessing. Cause him say, oh, bless him. I bless you if you do this, and him I curse you if you do that. You get me? I say, oh, oh Lord, to us belongeth confusion of faces to our kings, to our princes, and to our fathers, because we have sinned against Thee. To the Lord, our power. Belong mercy for um, forgiveness, though we have rebelled against him, neither have we obeyed the voice of the Lord thy power to walk in his law which he set before us by his servant, by his servants, the prophets. So basically, this I tell us, say, yo, remember, I tell you, remember, I'm read earlier the, the blessing and the curse. So basically, we never listen to the Mosai. So I think I got um, curse reach we yo. You get me? Scripture blatantly plain say yo confusion of faces upon we. Because guess what? We rebel against the Mosai and the Mosai scatter us. You get me? I get that as well. It say yo, yea, all Israel have transgressed thy law, even by departing, that they might not obey the voice of might not obey thy voice, therefore the curse is poured upon us. And the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of the Most High, because we have sinned against him. So basically, just let me say, yo, Israel go off. You say, yo, yea, all Israel transgress. So I know this one, I know this two, all of Israel did go off. And guess what? All of Israel did get scattered. All of Israel gone under the punishment. You get me? So even a man who might look like a cracker, but he might go through the same tribulation also. My Sharpie is just a Jake. You get me? I experience the same thing, confusion of faces. You understand me? Let's prove, say, oh, we did get a next point for proof, say, oh, people they get scattered, yo. You get me? And this is proof for sure, say, oh, if you're one of us. Well, not one of us. If you're the, if you're a son of the living power, Right? Um Mustata Deuteronomy twenty eight and sixty four and the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth even unto the other, and there thou shalt serve other gods which neither thou nor thy father have known even wood and stone. So just like I come explain earlier at the beginning of the video, I'm gonna tell us here oh, people will go as far as to worship other gods, but guess what? They might be different from the other nations. And it was a it's a part of the curse, yo. Well the Lord say my scatter who people and that are gonna happen to it. You get me? At the beginning it said Lord says scatter thee among all people, not some, but all. So people get mixed up all over the world. You get me? We don't we can't pinpoint and say, yeah man, that man is is a cracker. Oh, we use we use a spirit, yo. Use the spirit. We jump to verse um, 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Egypt meaning um, Matazarium, which means straight or double straight, which is bondage. Again, with ships by the way whereof I spake unto thee, that thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. Bondmen and bondwomen mean slave man and slave woman, and no man shall buy you, meaning buy your freedom. You get me? You watch a movie, um, I think a Django and Chains. Django and Chains, so the white man come up and say, yo, may I buy the slave here? One say, yo, it's not for sale, and I think him just kill him and just take the slave. And that was Django. And Django ride horse and was a free man and him slave so called slave master say hey you know me don't want me don't want to be a master I want to be a friend and we just do things together like partners 
You get me? An instant like that, the man buy him freedom. Buy him and tell him, say, hey, you're going to be a free man because of me. You understand me? None like that never happened to people in history. Nobody ever come up and say, oh, may I redeem them people. How much you sell them for? Boom, buy them back. That never happened in history, yo. You understand me? So the scripture um, got on point. And just to prove how all of this started, because people are going to say, yo, we come from Africa. We never come from Africa. You get me? The whole continent is called Africa, but really and truly we come from Israel. You understand me? And let's prove this from the scriptures. All right, this is Luke 21, start uh, 20. And when ye shall see Jerusalem compass with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. Then let them that are in Judea flee to the mountains, and let them which is in the midst of it depart out, and let not them that are in the countries enter there thereinto. For these be the days of vengeance, at all things which are written may be fulfilled, but woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days, for there shall be great there shall be great distress in the land and wrath upon the people. So this scripture now what may I read? People that read it and say oh, what it mean. And when ye shall see Jerusalem compass with armies. Jerusalem them turn no people in the in the land. But wait I talk about. No, me did get in the meantime, I did get the book. Let's see if this all load up. Alright, so the book um, from Babylon to Timbuktu, right, by Rudolf R. Windsor. It's a really good history book. I'm going to jump to page, let me see if we can get it up. This might take a little while. Alright, almost there. All right, so this is page. All right, this is page 84 from Babylon to Timbuktu. All right, it's a um, I'm gonna start. All right, all right, so I'll start at this. It's a oh, in the year. 65 BC, the Roman armies under General Pompey captured Jerusalem. Right? So, it actually said the Roman armies. So, when the scripture did say earlier, say, yo, and when they said the, the, the land um, compassed with armies, Jerusalem compassed with armies, uh, this is the talk about, yo. You get me? It say, yo, um, in 70 AD, General Vespasian and his son, Titus put an end to the Jewish state with great slaughter during the period of the military governors of Palestine. Many outrages and atrocities were, were committed against the residue of the people during the period from Pompey to Julius. It has been estimated that over one million Jews fled into Africa, fleeing from Roman persecution and slavery, the slave market were full of black Jewish slaves. So, brother, when the fee say, "Oh, who in a land are who people come from Africa?" We never really come from so-called Africa or among the Hamites, right? Or whichever, whichever one you want to call it. We were always, we were always in our land, yo. You get me? But when this happened, we fled from out our land and we fled into Africa. And this is why people start mix and mingle with them. But guess what? Africans know we're different from them. Just like I'm explain to you, we spirit different from them. What them do? Them take you and them sell you back in a slavery. Right? 
But with that, just want to make, um, just want to cut it there. And um, I hope and pray this lesson was edifying. Right? Uh, Kal halal yom la, Yahweh ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai ba Hashem, Rakak Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to the brothers in the highways and byways in this work. In all sincerity and in all honesty, the sisters, the believers, the helps. Shalom.